Damn, already? Damn it, this, is, this isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? We ended up walking around same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate at a freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left. It's just... Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. But weren't some, uh, weren't some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit? I think... I was saying. Then that's it. That's what this trip is missing. Come on, we totally gotta get moving or move in during our free time in the afternoon. What are we going to do? Make a once in a lifetime summer memory. Hawaii's famous for its beaches, and you know, what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> we can go get some girls' numbers during the day, then sneak away to them at night. You in or what? Me too? It'll be great. Neither of us have girlfriends who'd get mad at us about it either. What about me? I guess that's true, but. Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with. No question about it. Oh, you got a message. Who could that? Whoa. Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you know what. Come on, Mishima, let's go. What? Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us to Kamato? Don't give me that look. <laughs> going to Waikiki, try and get a little more excited. <laughs> Man. Could that have been a Vanity's message? I should check when there's nobody else around. I'd love to go for a walk on the beach. We're in Hawaii after all. I can finally take a break from my job too. If you don't have any plans, would you like to talk? take a walk with me? Are you busy? We're all the way in Hawaii, so I'd like to go to the beach. Just the two of us. I got more messages? Holy sh- Oh my god, it's a Fumi! I heard that Shujin is here in Hawaii, so I wanted to say hi. My school's giving us some free time to do as, do as we please. Care to walk along the beach? It might help with my with new moves. M what was that message earlier? Was it Futaba? Wait, don't tell me. Was it a girl? Come on, you you gotta make memories with us instead. We bombed it at the beach in Japan, after all. This is my last moment of free time. Who should I spend it with? <laughs> I heard hanging out with Ryuji is actually pretty funny. Uh, the first time I did... I, the, my first trip to Hawaii on my first playthrough, I hung out with Makoto because I was romancing her. So let's hang out with On. I think I, I want to see what Hifumi would be like, or even Ryuji's. But uh, since we romance On, we'll hang out with On. Let's do it. Yes! Don't forget your swimsuit. We're meeting at the beach. I should hurry and change into my swimsuit. I think my first playthrough also I got the same the same amount of requests. I think it has to do with how finally just the two of us. I think it has to do with how far along your confidant ranking is, maybe. But my confidant rank with Hifumi isn't too high, but I don't know. Seems like Alan has been waiting for me here. <laughs> Aren't you staring a little too much? This isn't the first time you've seen me in this. It's because you're cute. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I'm glad to hear you say that. So I guess I can let you off the hook. This has now turned into a dating simulator. Hey, let's go for a walk. Oh! I know that food stand. They sell garlic shrimp there. Ooh, garlic shrimp sounds delicious. Try it. You'll get fat. <laughs> sure. All right. I love that about you. Hi. Can I get two plates of garlic shrimp, please? Wow, that's a lot of shrimp. It's so good. And they give you rice. I love Hawaii. God. <laughs> We gazed out over the ocean while we enjoyed the delicate flavors of a foreign country. That sounds so good. You two from Japan? Huh? Oh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> you know about the phantom thieves? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? 
This is incredible. Say, if you run into him, tell him I say hello. Will do, shrimp stand owner. And ask him to change <laughs> people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Well, I don't think that's really how it works. Let's go. I like this guy. He's cool. We spent time on the beach until the sun began to sink below the horizon. It's beautiful. I told Shiho I wasn't into this cheesy dating stuff. But now that I've actually tried it out, it's really not that bad. I guess it's because I have someone special to do it with. Thanks. Should we just go with the standard I love you on? Didn't I say that the first time? In the, like during her confidant rank 4 or something? <laughs> I love you too. Here, you can have this. It'll help you remember how special today was. Menhoon dolls. Ooh, that's cool. I think Makoto gives you something else. Wow, that's interesting. It's a pair of dolls holding hands. Aww. One kind of reminds me of An, while the other looks like me. That's cool. Hey, let's come back to Hawaii sometime. I mean, by ourselves. Of course. Yes. Anyway, it's starting to get dark. Should we head back? We still have some time. <laughs> okay. The two of us bask in the stunning Hawaiian sunset. Just me and on. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even know Hawaii had its own loading screen. That's pretty cool. <sighs> it was terrible getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. <laughs> Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? You'll survive, Mishima. Thanks? I guess I didn't exactly turn down the invite either. I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Takamoto, but he might be too different from me. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Oh well. Anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. They only spend like f three or four days. It's kind of it's such a short trip. I would think it would be like a week or something, like a Monday through Friday kind of thing. Um. The school trip is finally coming to a close. I never thought I would have the chance to go on, the, go on one the, go on the one this year as well. Oh, never mind. I never thought I would have the chance to go on the one this year as well. It barely even felt like a like I was out of the country though. Even Yusuke showed up. That was weird. <laughs> Even Yusuke was here. That aside. I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Honestly though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. So what you end up doing yesterday? You keep you keeping secrets from me? That's against the bro code. I was with someone. Actually, don't say anything. Last thing I need is your secret lover coming after me with an axe. <laughs> oh my god, I get it. It's fun. Oh my god. <laughs> we don't even have that confidant yet. It would oh, it, have been so funny if you get to romance that particular person who has an axe. I won't say anything else. That's enough, you guys. All right, then. It's almost time for us to leave. I feel like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. I'm ready to head home and get back to work. Yes, it would be best for us to gather clues on, on that case sooner rather than later, correct? Yeah. People totally waiting for us to take action. Our approval is like almost 80. It's kind of nuts. Still, would have eventually shut up if you just not. I guess you got a point. 
Yo, welcome back. Hey, you gotta lay. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? It was bomb. Aloha. <laughs> He's been influenced. <laughs> uh, I can understand why. Well, you guys were off having fun. Things here have gotten a bit more problematic. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. I want a real life calling card, that'd be cool. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year? Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. Can we sue for copyright? No. <laughs> I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Hell yeah! Like Phantom Thief Curry? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantom -y effect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, alright? Oh, come on, Soji. I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi Kun? Oh, God, Akechi. Well, there he is, the anti thief detective. I hope he slips up and self destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However, no, I shouldn't say anymore. It's probably because his reputation took a hit. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! <laughs> what are you so angry about? Rude! Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. Futaba was just like me. I finished the analysis. You know. The and like <laughs> how she speaks. <laughs> Wanna meet now? I just got back. Seriously, jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. I like her T-shirt. Is it? It's like a. It's like Tetris. It's a cool. That's a cool. Cool tank top. Anyways, what's crazy is uh, if if you guys noticed, there was a, like a cutscene with uh, Eggman from Sonic. Uh. Apparently, his employers were responsible for the mental shutdowns, and since he kept being a failure and couldn't catch the fan thieves, they induced a mental shutdown in him. So I'm just explaining that in case you didn't understand what the cussing was about. But anyways, jet lag is a hell of a bitch. Let me tell you. What did we came back on a Monday? That's even worse. Don't they have school? Holy crap. <sighs> hey, got a minute? You look sleepy. What's up? What's up, Morgana? Let's do it. Let me save it up real quick. Damn. 
my uh, recording times are pretty long. Let's talk some other time. You should go to sleep for tonight, though. You look exhausted. Oh, thank you, Morgana. Feels good to be back. Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. Never mind, you should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. If you say so, Morgana. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Huh? He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? <laughs> w well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? Never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> this is bad. I'd better tell the others. What's crazy is when you're driving, usually you Usually you check when you're like when you're making a turn you you check ahead of you to see if any pedestrians are crossing, right? How did that truck hit Principal Kobayakawa? I know it's I know it's for the story, but I'm just saying that truck that truck driver's trash <laughs> at being a driver. It's the first time at school in a while. I'm so sleepy. You over your jet lag? Not yet. So sluggish, huh? Well, I can't. I can say the same for myself. Never mind that, though. Did you know about this? The fan thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're gonna target next. Ain't that amazing? We ain't really psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Damn, having the principal, like, all, like die suddenly. How's that affect school? It has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. Are people connecting this with uh, the Kamoshida case? We will now begin the emergency morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide rumor is for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing! Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this too? I would like to see everyone live up to 
to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <laughs> Oh god, the heat's coming down on us. It's not good. I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? We don't kill. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I'm not lying to you. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. Rank 4 of Prosecutor Sanijima. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. The summary of the story has been updated. Cool. So our next target is Okumura. Hmm. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we are responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods, or prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere from Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. 
I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAV. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings, after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah... the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh! Some team you are! What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this! Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey! Aren't you acting for your own benefit here, too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Calm down. What, what the, what's going on? Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! <sighs> I'm human. I have to be. Alright, I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Akumura before those guys do. Um. Huh? That kitty? Isn't that that girl from school? Again. <laughs> I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves' doing. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. 
This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I'm really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really... impossible alone? How horrible! What? I, I can't... 